guys and welcome back today we are going to let's play war for the overworlds i have played this before on my channel but i have never actually really done a full-on play um i mean i love war for the overworlds so i am excited to play it and you know the only problem with that reading one was that my jaw was getting really achy during the end so uh let's do what is it campaign let's do campaign uh also don't forget to subscribe and like the video to help the channel grow thank you very much now there is a little bit of an audio problem potentially with this uh, because Wondershare <laughs> released a new update and it wasn't great. So um... you're making great progress, Underlord. Thank you. You'll be back to your old self in no time. Our next target is the Citadel of the Intransigent Dotard, Lord Othelan. He's a dim-witted sort. And he seems to like marching his troops into an early grave. I'd say it's time to learn about traps. Traps. So I have decided to start from level three because the first few levels are just tutorials. And I mean, I know traps is still kind of a tutorial. And obviously I have done all these before. So I'm not going to be totally clueless on what I'm actually doing, which is always going to help. So uh, let's do it. Let's, let's kick some ass. I'm hoping that this microphone. I... Welcome to Wait. the breach, Underlord. This stronghold was built into this chasm to safe keep one of the Empire's inhibitors. With its trained garrison, it's virtually impervious to attack. Fortunately for you, their commander, Lord Othelan, oh, no. is a vacuous sort who will throw his troops at your dungeon without strategy or order. I can think of no better time for you to learn how to build defenses for your dungeon. Ah, uh, yes. To do this, I remember this level. You first need a foundry. Open the veins of evil and unlock it now. Foundry unlocked. Build one now and your minions will be happy to create defenses for your dungeon. Uh, you have discovered a gateway. We'll make that into a bedroom. Why not? Um, so, dungeon, oh, he's still talking. Why not use the prophecy spell to clear the fog of war and scout the surrounding terrain? Prophecy. Um, I mean, like, whatever. We'll just do that. Five by four. Is that five by five? Awesome. And you then we'll do this the one gateway. too. Um, and now I know they do come from this area. If usually. you're short on workers to do your bidding. Cast the summon worker spell to create more. However, every worker after your first five will lock a portion of mana. You've claimed the possession. This doesn't really make sense because they all do. If you end up with an excess of workers locking your mana pool, you may dismiss them by dropping them onto your dungeon core. It's all right. They won't feel a thing. Oh, that's good. You've discovered a gold shrine. Tagging it will allow your workers to mine unlimited wealth for your dungeon. You'll need an Oh, come on, man. Stop talking. To research that artifact. Okay, do you know I'm just going to have to, like, talk over him. Sorry, well, dude. Um, I'm hoping that the microphone isn't too close to my nose that you can hear my breathing. But, um, unfortunately, because of the way that the, uh, the program is right now. It means that I don't really have much of a choice. Otherwise, it's it's either literally this or just don't film, which is not ideal. Um, uh, this dude talks and talks and talks. Three. Uh, oh, we could do it there actually. We could have the um, thingy there. Uh, okay. So what do we need to do? Simply give it a slap. Oh. You can also right -click yeah, no, we'll do that. Uh, all such flags. And then we'll put the beds there. Uh, don't know, can't remember what I was going to put there. But um, we'll figure something out. Uh, I mean, I know all these, all these thingamabobs, the doodles, and such. So, obviously, I don't know, maybe there's somebody who's watching who might not know. So, who knows? But uh, let's be a little mini series. I'm so super excited to um, play a game that is coming out in June. June? I think it's June. And um, 
I will I will let you guys know now, actually. I was gonna leave it as a surprise and I was like, well, you know. Is it really that big a deal? Not a big deal. Um, it is Vampire. Now, if anybody knows me, then they know that I love a good vampire game. I don't know why I love a vampire game, but I just do. So, uh, let's, let's knock down that bit. So, I am super excited to do a playthrough of that when it comes out. Uh, oh, we'll do it there. There we go. I could just knock down those two. I don't know. We'll see. Um, super excited to play that because I love it and it looks so cool. And I don't know if you guys have seen it or you know about it. If you don't, then you should because it is good. It looks Not good. So I will be doing a play of that. Okay, I was just about to build that thing, a but you know, whatever. Has entered your dungeon. Mm -hmm. Attracted by the foundry. This gassy creature will joyfully launch the fetid content of its stomach to attack. Lovely. Your other minions would do well to stay a few steps back. Uh, I need some more money. So let's get those and uh, this bit here as well. Don't need that. Uh. Your minions' needs are not being met, Underlord. Build them the basic rooms they require. They've got the basic rooms. You've got another that wasn't me, I swear. Devil, you. Open the veins of evil yeah, and unlock yes. the blade lotus. Well, I also do need to make sure that I've got like you know, other lotus stuff. Unlocked. The blade lotus is a spinning flower of destruction. That tears nearby enemies into shredded flesh as it pushes them away. We will put it there because he wants it there. Uh, I need a uh, library. Library too. So, where am I going to put the library? Um, I can put it here, maybe. Three. Yeah, I could probably put it by there. I suppose. Why not? Why not? And I'll put that there. Uh, and I'll do this too, so it's a little bit quicker. Gnarling, um, because I need to make sure that I can defend this place. Damn it. I need to make sure I can defend this place, and the best way to do it than to have the gnarlings, because they're like the choppers, I guess. I don't know how else to say that, like the soldiers. So... I put anything here? Uh, I could put like, oh yes, I can actually. I could put maybe, maybe put a tavern there actually. That would um, probably make sense. I do need a uh, bit of gold. Uh, yeah, I'll just knock those down. Why not? I haven't even claimed the gold shrine anyway, so might as well. Uh, also, I do have an update that is coming up probably this week um, in a video. And that is uh, going to be announced probably this week, probably. I haven't actually filmed it yet, so I need to film it first. But uh, when I do, then, um, then you guys will know. So keep an eye out for that. It's uh, nothing, nothing major, major. Just uh, something that is coming up in my day-to-day -day regular routine life that I live. Ooh. Oh, is there something here, actually? Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind, there is not. Um, so I got that. And they're doing that. So we need to build this up a bit so that I can put an archive. So where is everyone? Where are you guys? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, guys. Oh, there we go. They're leveling up, at least. Leveling up. Uh, I can put this flag here. Store more gold. So that should um, make them want to hurry up with this bit, which would be great. So I can put this down and track some uh, 
wizards or whatever they're called in this game. Um, and put that down here. Awesome. And I think I'm going to call it an episode there. Sorry, I'm a little bit pressed for time, so these are going to be a little bit short right now. But still making sure that I do something. But again, it will relate to the news that I have coming up this week. So make sure you watch that and get updated about the channel. And I will see you guys soon. So bye, guys.